you. The game's called hide and seek, not hide and tell you where I am. Hang on. Have you activated your invisibility force field? Oh, uh, uh, of course not. That, that would be cheating. Like that would be the first time. <laughs> I've heard that. Oh, Danny's house is starting, but I'm sure you won't expose your new hiding place just to... <laughs> ha! I knew you'd gone invisible. But it's no fun when you always find me. I did say that would happen. Now, if you'd listen to me about that. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, my name's Danny, and this is my fantastic new... Best friend, Jack. Yeah, but... Oh, where was I? Your name's Danny, and I'm a best friend too, Sam. As I was saying, really this is my fantastic new... Max! I'm a brother, and actually, it's Ben. What? Oh, it's our show. Can you just zip it? As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is my fantastic... Danny, what did I tell you? I give up. I recognise the Doctor with a big head. <laughs> Get ready to witness my first TV show appearance. I'm afraid it's not a pretty sight. <laughs> Some other time. I don't believe it, they cut me out. Maybe they didn't feel you got the character right? I was playing a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. No more crummy parts that'll get me cut, or are so small you wouldn't even know it's me. What, like that zombie movie that just showed your leg getting eaten? I was talking generally. So how are you going to turn things around? Publicity. I need to raise my profile, get my face out there. These t-shirts are a great idea, Jack. You wanted your face out there? Well, it's out there. And we've <laughs> almost run out. Which means 200 people, three dogs and one hamster are wearing your face right now. Oh, I'm bound to get recognised after this. Great work, team. Woo. <laughs> What's wrong, Danny? Meet Danny. A new face of Veruca Cream. <laughs> peel! Peel! I'm going to... I mean, don't peel. Peel! Oh, I'm confused now. Well, you say peel. You chose orange number 12. Hope it's a winner. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. Knew he shouldn't have peeled. But I could win peel or no peel. Now I've watched every episode. You're right. I'm going to apply online right now. It's big money, Ben. And I could do with adding more zeros to my bank account. So how many zeros would you need to be a squillionaire? A lot. Which is why I'm going to apply to all the game shows. There are loads. Extreme ironing on ice. Win, lose or drown. Why stop at one when I can win them all? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what we're laughing. <laughs> I need a publicity stunt that's big, flashy, captures people's imagination, but obviously doesn't cost any money. Exactly, because I don't have any. Well, if it's cash you need, do what I do. Work for Mr. Poonzel. Ray Poonzel? Hairdresser to the stars? Mr. Poonzel uses my hair for practice. Cuts it any way he wants, I get paid. Too risky. Unless I can see the end result, there's no way I'm letting anyone loose on what some people say is my best asset. What? Nothing. Then you're going to have to get a job. What, like stacking shelves or being a tennis instructor? <laughs> have you seen my uniforms? <laughs> How about working for your grandfather one of his expeditions again? Mm, for some reason, he says I'm not that helpful. It's just there. Get ready, Danny. This is the first sighting ever of the Amazonian Silver Ridge Gorilla. Shh. Don't make a sound. They're very sensitive to noise. I should, uh, probably take this. Hello? Yeah, yeah, in, in the jungle? No, no, jungle. Yeah, gorilla. <sighs> what was that fuss over a gorilla? Ooh, talking of which, got to nip out. See a man about a dog. All done. Now we wait for the offers to pour in. 
In the meantime, I need to prepare. Are you going through these to learn the answers to every question ever asked on a game show? No. I'm going to sleep. Rest your brain. Good idea. It won't be resting. On here is a quiz CD containing every game show category. Science, history, catchphrases from around the world, you name it, it's there. All I have to do is listen. My brain will absorb the answers, and when I wake up, I'll be ready. Is there a martial arts category? Because I've always wanted to learn Kung Fu. So you think this will raise Danny's profile? It's virtual, showcases her talents, and most importantly, it's free. How can it fail? Yeah, but you've never shot a music video before. Well, you can't swim, and that didn't stop you applying to be a lifeguard at the bikini model pool party. That was a networking opportunity, but you have a point. Ready? Yo! Perfect. And you've learnt all the words? You sure I don't look stupid? No way! You look kicking, sister. <laughs> Once we shoot this, and put it on the internet, the Danny publicity campaign will be officially launched. Who knows, it might even go viral. Yeah, that sounds bad. Is it contagious? You bet. And we want everyone to catch Danny fever. Ready? OK. OK? <coughs> Action. I spy with my little eye. I'm Danny, I'm hammy, and I'm really, really fly. I groove like a hoover, get down to the beat. So come a little closer. Don't smell my feet. <laughs> One to the two to the three to the three. I dance like Beyonce, but I rap like Jay Z. Jack and Sam on my beavers, no doubt. So let's get this party started. Let's rock Danny's house. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh. I'm still alive. Cut. <laughs> cock a doodle do. What are you doing? That's how my mum wakes me every morning. Works, doesn't it? Test me. What is the yearly sausage consumption of the Ukraine? <laughs> Probably need some time to kick in. I'll check my email, see which shows I've got on. There are no's. No, no, not in your life, no. Wait, there's a yes. Dear Max, we are delighted to inform you, due to a last minute cancellation from a contestant who got on a better show, do we have a place for you on tomorrow's family misfunctions? Yes. Please bring ID, colour pens and a family member, what? It is called Family Misfunctions. Maybe I could pretend to be your dad. Um, slight problem. My dad's bald. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Forget music video. We just invented the music no-no. Well, some of it might be OK. Think positive. Try telling that to Jack. No amount of positive thinking is going to fix his equipment. Poor guy must be gutted. You big doodle do! You were saying? Say hello to the internet's finest virtual hairdressing salon owner. Virtual what? Virtual hairdressing. It was something Danny said earlier about being able to see your hairstyle before it gets cut. Got me thinking. So, I came up with... Comb over and wig out. It's a hairdressing website where people can pay not to get their hair cut. Genius, right? What about DJing and all your equipment? With the profits from this, I could buy a load more. Anyway, no time for interfacing. Just pop it in to borrow your hairdryer. It's in the bedroom, but... Gotta go, got wigs to fluff. Get lost, boneheads. This room is now HQ for my publicity team. <laughs> We're still finding our feet. <laughs> Clearly. Well, good luck. Guess I'll have to find someone else to make big bucks with. You got a money-making plan? Game shows, and I've already got onto one. And you need me because I have to bring a family member. And as my charming, clever sister. Grandpa couldn't make it. No, but if we win, we could split the prize 50-50.
that would raise money and your profile in one go. As your publicist, I say go for it. OK. I'll get the contracts drawn up and we can start preparing. We've got one day to find out everything about each other. Whoa. Time out. What do you mean, everything about each other? There's one round where we answer questions about our family member. You're my brother. What can I possibly not know? When's my birthday? March the 3rd. March the... It's not March. April? June? October? It's May the 4th. Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> OK. Maybe we do need to do a little bit of homework for our TV show appearance. Oh, homework! Let me help. I'm great at homework. <laughs> Coordinator Zang, what is a game show? It's a televised event where humans compete against each other for money or to become famous so that they can host their own game shows. Ah, so game shows are similar to our intergalaxian contests? Yes, but without the blood, gore and fighting to the death. Those are the best bits. Well, we don't call humans the cavemen of the cosmos for no reason. <laughs> there are three rounds. Charades, quickfire and the last round, he said, she said, carries the most points, so that's the one we will focus on. Fine, but why do we have to wear these? Because it's scientifically proven you're taking more information when your body's under physical duress. What did she say? You learn more if you're sweating. <laughs> I've designed a series of exercises that you'll do as I test you. Any questions? Why do I have to do this? I guess you don't. Cool. So I have a free afternoon to do anything I want. I'll give you 10% of my winnings if you do my chores. Uh... I'll give you five if you do mine. Done. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Cadets, ready! Aren't you taking this a bit seriously? Do you want to win or not? <laughs> yes, sir. Alrighty then, gear up. Star jumps, ready. <laughs> Max, what is Danny's favourite colour? Uh, brown? No, it's aquamarine blue. Danny, what's Max's? Green? No, it's brown. No one's favourite colour is brown. <laughs> More wrong answers, so it's double time skipping. Wait! <laughs> Danny, what is Max's best feature? His strangely long toes. No, it's his cute button nose. Faster! <laughs> Max, what is Danny's most embarrassing moment? All Danny's moments are embarrassing. No, wrong again. It's having Lou Roll stuck to her skirt. That was embarrassing. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, for this last song, I would just love for one of you to come up and join me here on stage. Um, let me see. Um... Hey, what about you? Me? <laughs> oh, wow. I've always wanted to meet you. Oh, I'm so nervous. Um, I guess that's why you brought all that loo roll. <laughs> Oi, no slacking. You've got a hundred more to go. This is hopeless. We're never going to win at this break. Then let me read your diary. Forget it. No talking. Next question. Been shopping? No. I'm moving all of Danny's clothes so I can clean her wardrobe. What are you doing? I'm trying to get my website working, but I can't find any decent photographs of myself wearing these. Maybe you could help. You want me to model the wigs? I was going to suggest you take the photos, but sure, why not? <laughs> OK, mm. let's start with this one. <laughs> no, maybe the green one. Yeah, green. Half nice. <laughs> oh, try the blonde one. This one's going to be the one, yeah. yeah. That's nice, yeah? yeah. Oh, this one. I like this one. <laughs> this is really nice. That's nice, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Oh, the, no, I think the blonde one is my favourite. It's really my colour. <laughs> I knew you two weren't to be trusted with a toilet break. I'm exhausted. We need a rest. And besides, I've asked Ben to make lunch. I guess refreshment break is okay. You've got 30 minutes. No way! It's all! Make that 29. <laughs> ben! Hurry up! Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's the wig. Oh, yeah. Flick it. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> You're not 
still doing this virtual hairdressing thing? He is, and I'm his business partner. Ben, <laughs> you do realise everyone will see these photos? You're right. I've got to tell everyone I know. <laughs> right? Everyone out. I need a hundred more styles on my website before we go live at midnight. <laughs> that reminds me. The deadline for the physics fun run is midnight tonight. Oh, well, you uh, best be off. Wouldn't want you to be the only physicist not getting physical. But what about preparing for the game show? It's OK. We'll do it ourselves. Stay up all night if we have to. By tomorrow, we'll be the most well-prepared contestants ever to go on family misfunctions. I brought grass shakes and seaweed muffins. Brain food. No! <laughs> I passed your parents on the way out. They didn't want to disturb you. You've been hard at it. Did you get all the questions done? Absolutely. Of course. It worked! It worked! I took my website live last night, went to bed, woke up this morning to find thousands of people have been on it. But how? Well, with Ben's text and my mate Ling Ling tweeting, word got out. Where's Ben? I can't wait to tell him. I'm here. <laughs> Seaweed muffins. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, ten o'clock. My first client. The what? The hairstyles. People like them so much online, they want the real thing. You're going to cut their hair? Why not? I've seen Mr Punzel do it loads of times. How hard could it be? This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> what time did I say we had to be at the TV studio? 11 o'clock. Was that PM? <laughs> ah! I've got to find my lucky rabbit's foot! I've got to get dressed! Wait, I've got to. No, don't have anything to do. <sighs> Wait, we have not practiced charades all the word association game. No time, we'll do it on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> Studio on time. Relax, the taxi driver knew exactly where to go. He thought Piccadilly Circus was where clowns live. You worry too much. And you don't worry enough. I really think this is a bad idea. Shh! My client will hear you. What's this for? Energy? Curling. Oh, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mrs. Smith! <laughs> I see you've picked your hairstyle. Yes, I have. Please take a seat. Relax. And let my fingers do the talking. Ben, sit over there so I can see the television. Our friends are on a game show. Hey, it's already started. And on the other team, Danny and her brother, Max. Woo! Hey, Danny, what's it like to be an astronaut? Uh, restrictive? Indeed. And, Max, I see here you're an avid collector of bird droppings. Um, no. No, oh, you're right. That was the last slot. <laughs> okay, then. Intro's over. Let's play Family Misfunctions. First round. Charades. That'll be a doddle with Danny's acting skills. Yeah, but you don't know who they're up against. How bad could it be? I guess. As long as it's not... Eric and Erica. No! <laughs> You're Eric and Erica. They're the reigning game show champions. They haven't lost their title in 19 years. And to start things off, Eric and Erica. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Phil, two words. Finding Nemo. Correct. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Exactly right again. Ooh. Correct. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Wow. You guys are good. Danny, Max, 
Your turn. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Chicken, hungry. Mum in the morning? A fish out of water. Gorilla. Oh, a book. She could the giraffe, she... huh? Oh, oh, I'm oh. sorry, you've run out of time. The answer is The Jungle Book. Oh. I was gonna say that. <laughs> One, our scores are Eric and Erica, 150. <laughs> Danny and Max, zero. It's like watching a car crash. But without the cars. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. My best work yet. Uh, close your eyes so I can do the fringe. Here we go. Mrs. Smith, take a look. What do you think? You like? That'll be 50 pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe you got away with it. Me neither. This is going to be a breeze. They're back on. In this round, Danny, you have to guess as many words as you can using Max's description. Off. You. Go. It's cold, white. I like it on toast. Ice cream. Yes. <laughs> what do I think of your acting? Wooden. Yes. yes. Uh, like Grandpa's breath. Pickled onions. <laughs> yes. Uh, what I gave you last year for Christmas? Chicken pox. Yes. <laughs> Wow, you guys did good. It's gonna be hard to beat. Okay, away you go. It's a naturally occurring substance. Tea. Formed in eastern and western countries. Uh, a coffee. It's King Hussein of Hungary's favorite food. Um, chocolate. Uh, chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're out of time. <laughs> salt, dummy. Well, do this, come on. Well, kids. This is nail biting because after that round, the scores are tied at 150 all, which means the winner of the next round wins the show. Max, Erica, you're gonna have to put on your headphones. Danny, Eric, I'm gonna ask you two a question. Then I'm going to ask the two of you the same question. Give the same answer as your sibling and you win. Danny, Eric, the question is, what is your most embarrassing moment? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to hurry. And I'm sorry we are out of time. I asked your family members what was their most embarrassing moment. Erica, what did Eric say? Easy. It was a trip to the fair. Eric got so scared on the ghost train, he wet himself. <laughs> <laughs> she said, wet himself. He said... <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that's wrong. Yeah. Erica and Erica. Max, it's all down to you. Come well, on, Max, you can do it. Do it for me, Max, come on. What is Danny's most embarrassing moment? Well, there's so much choice. <laughs> there's the spider incident. The time she thought her friends were trying to kill her. Do you remember that? Yeah. And, of course, when she ran away to join the circus. But she would probably say it was having loo rolls stuck up her skirt. Oh, that was I terrible. Yeah, I was always going to say that. Is that your answer? Yes. Has Max got it right to win the Family Misfunction Grand Prize? Yes. Find out right after the break. <laughs> oh. Here's my next client. Mr. Punzel, are you the person responsible for the virtual website called Comb Over and Wig Out? I have no idea you've seen my website. 
I am honoured. You want me to cut your hair? Cut my hair? I wouldn't let you cut my toenails. <laughs> so why are you here? Because a certain Mrs Smith is in my salon crying over a haircut from a Ray Poonzel Hair Academy graduate. <laughs> All right, I'll take that bit down. Correction. You'll take down the whole website and refer all your clients to me. And why would I do that? Because otherwise I'll sue you. Oh. Will you win? Probably. Is it done? I'm glad we agree. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Jack. You must be gutted. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. C'est la vie. Whatever that means. <laughs> Ooh. Welcome back. Before the break, Max told us that Danny's most embarrassing moment was having Lou Roll stuck in her skirt. Was he right? Wait! Danny knows me well enough to know I never listen to her. So she probably give the answer she thinks I think it is. <laughs> I'm changing my answer. Let's see if your gamble pays off. <laughs> he said... All Danny's moments are embarrassing. She said... <laughs> Absolutely spot on! Yeah! Congratulations, you've won! And your prize is a non-expenses paid trip to the Snail Olympics. <laughs> this is all your fault. No money, humiliation on national TV. I'm a laughing stock. I'll be lucky to play a dead body now. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for family misfunction. See you if you watch the shoot. <laughs> See you next week. All that work and their prize. Is the Snail Olympics. They must be over the moon. <laughs> Those humans, eh? Competing just to get rich, famous, and win a prize. Oh, that reminds me. I must oh. register Pookie in the Snail Olympics. Um, about your pet snail. Remember that pile of, of brown goo you stepped in the other day? <laughs>